Hi guys! I know I haven't been here in a while. Um, I wanted to do like taste test of some stuff that I bought at World Market. Um, I don't know if there are World Markets everywhere, but um, it's like a place that sells like, sorry, Bowser wants to say hand out. This is Bowser. I found him on the side of the road and I tried very hard to find his family. And we, sorry, he's kicking stuff. Um, we like my, tried to see if he had a microchip and we put up um, a post on a bunch of different lost animal things in our area and I don't know it's been a very long time and no one has ever come forward claiming him and drove around in the area and tried to see if there were lost signs anyway so he lives here now <laughs> and he is a good boy he's just a little bit crazy you crazy puppy <laughs> anyway so I went to World Market Shoo. so I'm sorry like crazy I just got off work um really interested. <laughs> so I went to World Market. This is what their bags look like. And they got this cute little elephant on them. And I got three things that I've been wanting to try. Oh, sorry, bud. Um, so I got some green tea mochi. Mochi. Anyways, um, I've, I've had mochi before, just not green tea flavor. I've had red bean, I think. Um, uh, and how I got that was because I was trying to find, uh, I think it was called Jindui. It's a dessert that they sold when I lived in Hawaii as a kid. Anyways, uh, so anyway, so I was looking around like a market and I found this stuff that kind of looked like it had like this glutinous rice around it, like this rice batter, I guess. I don't know what else to call it. Um, and so what I had ended up buying was red bean filled mochi. Uh, and it was really good, but I saw this today and I was like, ooh, I love, I already opened the box because I wanted to see what it looked like, but I was, I was like, ooh, this looks really good. Um, so this is what the interior package looks like. There are six of them, and they're like, it looks like they have like powdered sugar on them or something, or maybe it's more flour. Yeah, um, so I'm going to try this. And these... I'm sure if I took enough time, I could figure out what that said, but I'm not that good yet. <laughs> uh, anyways, so it's fruit gummy candy assortment, and the because I keep seeing at like Target, I seeing um, it's called like High Chew, and I think about getting it, and then they had this. Ab I was at World Market, and I, um, not Target, but um, this was above it, and it has like three different flavors. It has lychee lychee mango and strawberry and we'll see i've i've had lychee before um i've had mango and strawberry too obviously but um i just don't know what lychee candy is gonna taste like um so i'm gonna try these they're like gummies is a yeah and then the last thing is pretty much why well i went there to get this miso making stuff because i like making miso and um I'm not a very good cook, so I need all the shortcuts I can get. But so that's mainly why I went. And when I went, I was like, ooh, last time I went, they had uh, matcha green tea Kit Kats. Um, and I didn't get them last time. And I, this time I was like, all right, I'm definitely going to get these. Um, these were actually, I also got beer. And these were as expensive as the beer. They were quite expensive. The rest of these things were like three dollars but this was eight dollars for this bag and it has 12 of the little kit kats in it like the kind like the size you get for halloween i guess um uh so yeah so we're gonna try this i've been dying to try these for a long time ever since i've like seen other people try them and i love matcha um like, I like to make matcha sometimes. Not often, because it's kind of expensive. <laughs> but, um... So, yeah, I'm really excited to try all of these. And I figured it would be fun to do it with you guys. So, where should... I kind of want to start with the Kit Kat. Because I've been dying to try these. Where are you? So this will be fun. So, these are what they look like on the inside. Really cute. They're, I would say that these are probably the same size or a little smaller 
than the ones that you get for like Halloween. They have like this little spot on the back where you could like write something if you wanted. Like these would be fun to give kids for Halloween. Um, I have like a little thumbs up that says have a break, have a Kit Kat. Hmm, okay, let's try them. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They're really like the chocolate on it is like really soft. This is what they look like. Sorry, Bowsy, you can't have this. It's got like little speckles on them. Oh, oh, I broke it off and it fell. It fell. Mmm. That does taste like just like matcha. Mmm. Mmm. It's not like sweet like a Kit Kat. And it doesn't even taste like chocolate. It tastes like... Like if you've ever been making matcha tea with matcha powder and then like some of it gets on your finger or something and you lick it, it's like kind of bitter. Kind of like that mixed with cookie dough is the best way I can describe the flavor. It's really good though. Would definitely get them again. But not often because of the price. <laughs> um, mm. Yeah, I would definitely say that that twingy flavor, kind of like cookie dough, yeah. Mm. It's not a very sweet dessert, but it is good. Mm. So let's have a chew now. There are three flavors. I don't know which one I should go for. Um. I'll try one of these next. Oh, whoa, as soon as you open, I just opened a corner package and I can smell, it smells so fruity. Okay, well the first one that I can't, that came out was mango. So they come individually wrapped, I'm surprised. I thought they were gonna be loose. Like, you know, those little peach ring candies that you get. But yeah, mango. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, it looks like, hang on, it's like solid, like a little drop, very squoosh, 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 it's got a little stuff on it, like I don't think you can see that, but it's like glitter on my finger now, whoa, that is an intense smell, I wish I had some water, I'm gonna bring this down, mmm, Mmm. Mmm. That was so good. That's probably the best gummy candy I've ever had. Um, tastes like mango. I mean, depending on what mango you get. So tastes like a mango. Not super sugary. Um, very surprising. Because, like fruit gummies here are just like sugar and water and gelatin mixed together and then you know a little bit of flavor i kind of want to find a lychee one now and taste one of those let's see what the next one still got a mango i'll put that one back strawberry i wonder if there's not the same oh lychee okay i got it this is by the way so this is what the mango one looks like it's yellow this is the strawberry it's light pink and then the lychee one is like just a little bit darker, or I guess you could even call that like a little bit of a purpley color. It says a serving size for this is six pieces. Six pieces, 90 calories. I'm not gonna eat six pieces, but. <laughs> Ooh. Mmm. That does smell like the lychees that I brought home when I bought them at the store. So this one basically looks the same, just like more clearish yellow. Like it looks kind of yellow on my screen, but it looks a lot more like clear in person mm. 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 that one was a little bit more tart but really good flavor but it actually is making me think that I think the first time I ever bought the mochi, it came in an assorted pack, 
And I know one of the flavors was red bean, but I couldn't remember the other ones. And I think one of them might have been like some kind of fruit like this. I don't know if it was lychee, but I think it was something similar. Ah, so that was good. They put all the trash in one one area. Mmm, that one was also good. So now, hopefully the piece de resistance. We're gonna have, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> so now we're gonna have mochi, 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 mochi. This one is a little bit more difficult to get into. So it's like in a little tray. And then each one is in like one of these little, you know like when you get Christmas cookies and they're in that little paper, no, they're in that little paper cup thing, kind of looking, do that. that's what it is, so it comes in like a little paper thing, these are a little big, oh, I wonder if you like, I, I'm gonna bite it, I'm not put the whole thing in my mouth, mmm, smells like matcha tea, like someone just made a cup of tea and then it get cold and this is what it smells like, um, it has all this powder on it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's sugar or rice. I'm going to lick my fingers. I know how rude that is, but... No flavor. Maybe it's like cornstarch or something? I don't know. It's very dark green. Like the mochi that I had last time, it was like the squishy part on the outside is was like white or beige or whatever, and then only the inside had a color. Even in the picture, this looks like the actual like rice bit has, because it's made of like glutinous rice, whatever, has color, if you can see that, see? So I guess they, I guess they flavored the whole kit and caboodle. Alright. I got, mmm, I have so much powder in my mouth. Ah. It's not flavorful, like it, the powder has no flavor, it was just like getting like a mouthful of like dust <laughs> hang on so i guess i have to bite like pretty far into this to get to the filling so i can't like get like nibble it i gotta bite like halfway through this puppy no offense mm. Mm. Very squishy. Mm. Also, really messy. If you guys could see right now, like my hand is covered in this white powder. My jeans are covered in it. I've like spilled it everywhere. <laughs> um. So last time I got the mochi in like the assorted pack, they were not like sweet desserts. They aren't like they aren't like desserts. Like here, where everything's like cloyingly sweet, like full of sugar. Like it's not like chocolate cake sweet or something it's like a very mild flavor for the ones that I had which I've only had that one type before so I don't really know if that's like the norm but once again this is not super sweet hang on let me try and unsquish it so I can show you the filling without getting more powder all over myself yeah definitely eat it over your weird little paper cup that's what the inside looks like so yes this part is flavor dyed green and then the inside is all squishy um, I remember when I got the red bead one, it was like kind of like a paste, like, oh, the other one was like a nut flavor, I remember now, it was like peanut butter kind of flavored, I don't really know if it was actually peanut butter, but that's what it tasted like to me, but it was like a paste that you could like kind of scoop out with your tongue, I just tried to do that with this, and it's very, um, firm compared to the last one, like it's not like a paste, it's like kind of a jelly, but not... But not really. I don't know how to describe it. I had to like bite it. See? There you go. But it is good. Once again, tastes pretty much almost exactly like just matcha tea with like a little bit of other flavors kind of bumping their way in. Good though. Mmm. It has like no flavor or smell though. Unlike the rest of the candies that I tried. Mm. <laughs> that was too much in one bite. <laughs> see all the powder though? Did you see that? I 
I'm the powder queen. That is good. I like that they're not like crazy sweet. Cause like while I do like desserts here, and I do like sweet things, after like, even if you get like a small portion, there's usually so much and it's so sweet that like halfway through it you're like, mm, no, no more. Like take fudge for instance. You can have like, you can only have like one tiny square of fudge or before it's way too much. Like, like you can quickly go from just the right amount of fudge to way too much fudge. <laughs> Wow, okay, I am, I am a disaster now, covered in powder. But yeah, so this was really fun. Um, once again, I got everything at World Market, um, cause I wanted to get this miso stuff, cause I love miso soup. And then after I left, I realized that I didn't get any seaweed, and I like to put seaweed in mine. So, still can't make any tonight for dinner. <laughs> I'll have to go somewhere else tomorrow to get some. And I got these. Dude, I need to I need to take the time to sound this out. Nope, it's gonna take me a minute to figure that one out. Not my strong suit. Um, so yeah, so this gummy candy. I didn't really rip off part of the name, so it should be okay. Japanese style green tea mochi. And green tea Kit Kat, which I feel like we've all heard about or seen someone else trying at this point. I see, like, I, I didn't want to know what it was going to taste like. So, like, I see everyone trying this and, like, I was like, oh, I can't watch this until I try it. I want to try it first. So, I should have bought it the first time I saw it, but I waited a long time. So, but anyways, it gave me a good excuse to make a new video. I'm sorry I've been gone so long. I'll um, see you on later. Bye-bye.